Welcome to Tech Resolve Dhamma. In this video, we are going to learn how to load multiple CSV, not CF, CSF uh, file. So that's where I made a mistake, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, just uh, you understand what I'm talking about here. So we are going to load multiple CSV files to Azure table and archive them and delete them after loading. So that's very important. Sometimes you get a lot of uh, CSV files and you need to load them to this different uh, SQL table or maybe different other tables. And you would like to move them after loading. So that's uh, possible in Azure Data Factory and by using a data flow activity. Now let's go ahead and uh, take a look. First of all, here I have my blob storage and in the blob storage we have two containers one is called input and the other one is output so as you right there that's my input container and i have some actually files here i'm going to delete so we can just get rid of them and also blob snapshot delete that and now we will be left with pretty much nothing so now in the input folder or container i'm going to upload some files so let's uh, do that and uh, here we have upload button and uh, we are going to go ahead and upload from a uh, computer and here three files uh, I'm uploading. Uh, so I'm uploading uh, total sale uh, Europe, total sale America and total sale Asia. Let's take a look on these files. Um, so these files have the same structure and they will be loaded to the same uh, uh, table so you can see right there uh, they have ID sale person first name last name and all that and uh, now what we are going to do we are going to load them into the one of the table in Azure SQL database um, so that table is called the total sale I'm going to create this table by myself uh, that means uh, I'm uh, choosing uh, different uh, data types for each of the column uh, what I needed uh, and also at the end I have I have added an extra column called the file name in uh, this table uh, so we will load uh, the file name and table uh, uh, so that we would know which records came from which file uh, let's go back to our portal and here uh, we are going to go ahead and on each of the time we load these files first we are going to just delete them uh, and then next uh, we will move them to some folder so you will know about both scenarios uh, go to the uh, data flows here and in the data flow go and uh, select a new data flow and I'm going to call this data flow uh, delete files or something like that df uh, csv delete files let's click on uh, add source and uh, now we are going to create uh, a data set um, as the uh, files are sitting in the blob storage you will be using azure blob storage here um, now click on csv files as we uh, uh, we know that our files are csv files uh, now we create a link service and uh, that link service is going to be uh, pointing to our Tech Brother IT storage and uh, that's all you can test your connection here and hit OK and it will be created uh, now what we can do here uh, yes uh, my files are going to have header and second we can select a file uh, now we can select a total sale Asia file here and uh, that uh, leave everything as it is for now hit OK for now and uh, we are going to make some settings here go to source options and here we'll say column to the file uh, store file name so that's going to be file name so I gave the same name what I have in my table so it will be mapped automatically if you see right here after completion so once uh, the data is loaded what you want to do in no action so file will stay as it is or delete all source files I'm gonna go and say delete all files so now also instead of one file what we would like to do we would like to load all files so I'm gonna say asterisk.csv in the wildcard path um, so in, under the input if there is anything asterisk.csv so that means all the files um, now we are going to go back to the source uh, settings here and here we are going to open a connection and uh, now i'm going to remove this uh, total sale asia because i have uh, multiple files and i know that i have to uh, load all of them uh, not only single file uh, so i'm going to click back here and uh, next uh, i'm going to add the sync to it uh, go to sync and here in the sync uh, I'm going to the uh, data set and then I will be selecting uh, Azure SQL so that's uh, my Azure SQL database click continue and now we will be creating a, a new link service so we will be selecting our subscription here we will be selecting our server here we will be selecting database tech browser ITDB and providing username and password and now we'll provide a password here and this is a test connection looks so good so this is database 3 create this uh, link service 
And now we have to select a table. In the table, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select a total sale. Once the table is selected, uh, we don't have to do anything here. Hit OK. And uh, then uh, what we are going to do, we are going to, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so we don't have to do anything else. We are all set. And now we can go to the pipelines here, add a new pipeline. And here uh, I can bring this uh, data flow in this pipeline. Uh, now we can debug. Uh, and once we debug, it's going to read the files uh, from uh, our blob storage, load to the SQL table, and then delete them. Let's refresh and see the files are still there because our pipeline is in process of execution, it's in progress. Let's go to the table here and let's see if the data is loaded. So data is uh, this this data is loaded. Let's go back and take a look here. So the pipeline got completed successfully. So that's why we have data loaded, and we can see that we data came from Asia. North America file and your file looks good but we need to see if uh, this file has been deleted so let's go back here refresh our input folder and you can see that the file has uh, file has been deleted so this is how it will be like you want to load multiple files to same table you will be able to delete them after but sometimes we don't want to do that we want to keep them and want to know uh, when these were loaded and all those kind of things in that scenario let's do that now we upload the files uh, back uh, so from my local computer I'm going to upload these files here and then uh, once these files are uploaded upload right there this time uh, what I want to do I want to create a folder here maybe backup or archive and move these files instead of uh, uh, deleting them so we can go ahead and uh, drop actually uh, truncate this table and then, then truncate table so will, there will be no data and uh, now we can see there is no data in this table and I can go back here and uh, let me do some changes. Uh, in the data flow that's where you are going to make changes. Uh, so you're going to go right there in the source again go to source options and uh, in the source option uh, remember we did the uh, delete source files uh, instead of that we will be doing move. Now you can read uh, this information moving files after completion will overwrite existing files and folder in your target location that you have uh, same name as your uh, source files and folders um, so if you already have some files uh, and uh, this uh, this file the new file is coming with the exact same name or folder they will be overwritten uh, and uh, from where from the input and uh, then uh, what we would like to do move to where so that's where we need to provide the path here in the under the input uh, maybe we can uh, do backup or maybe do archive or whatever the name you want to give so in my case I'm, i gave the backup backup files or we can say loaded files okay loaded files that make more sense and uh, now uh, we should be good and uh, we can go ahead and execute our pipeline again and uh, in this pipeline that's the data flow csv delete files data flow that's right so we can uh, start a debug now uh, now once we start the debugging uh, it's going to run and uh, data will be loaded to the table so it's in progress right now and the uh, data should be loaded to the table and also the file should be moved uh, to the folder here so right now okay the file has been loaded successfully and uh, the file has been moved to the loaded files uh, so you see right there they have been moved here and if i go back to my iu data factory refresh uh, pipeline has been uh, successfully it's still in process of uh, uh, okay completed right now okay so this is completed and uh, now if i go to the table i should see all the records for those three files right here so this is uh, for asia file this is uh, for uh, north america file and this is coming from your file now we can go back here and i can show you right there in the if you refresh this is storage and this is storage container input and remember input container we have created the call loaded file folder so that's where file has been moved uh, after loading. So this is uh, how you will uh, read multiple files in Azure Data Factory by using data flow and uh, move them or delete them after loading it to your table or some other destination. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.